Hi, Justin Moore, General Manager of George Moore Chevrolet with Officer Osborne, Zone 2's Community Engagement Officer of the Month. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you. What did you do to earn it? Um, so, uh, Chief, uh, Assistant Chief Burton got a email in regards to what went out as a suspicious person. Um, somebody was banging on a woman's door. She's actually a single mother who had just sent her daughter. That's why she lives in the area. She doesn't have a lot of money. She just sent her daughter off to college, actually, is what I found out over the phone. Um, so she's living there by herself now. Um, somebody's running around, banging on doors, scared her to death. She was in the middle of a panic attack um, when I responded. Um, just talked her down and spent some time on the scene, circling her apartment, checking for the boogeyman, and um, told her just to call back. She was embarrassed she had to call. Um, she felt like she was a grown woman and woman and shouldn't have had to call. And um, she said in the future she will call now, um, just because I let her know this is our job. Call as many times as you need to and chase away this boogeyman. So it sounds like a case of um, empty nest and... It, it, it was, person. yes. A little bit of both. Yeah, and that used to be in Home Alone? Yeah, That's no, great. definitely not. Used to be in Home Alone at all. Um, how'd you get started in policing? In policing? Um, so I'd actually done a couple things. Started off in the medical field, and then I was actually with ASAP Towing, and now I'm here. Um, policing is something I always had in the back of my head, but um, I was like, if you want to help people, go medical field. So I went medical field, still wasn't happy. Um, then I was going to go get my bachelor's and try to go further than that. I was a little unsure as to where I was going to go. Police and still in the back of my head. And then while I was working at ASAP Towing, I was like, I'm going to go police. And it's just something I did. So when did you move here from New Jersey? From New Jersey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. Southern New Jersey, I take it. Very southern. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> You didn't catch me on Jersey Shore. <laughs> uh, are, are you from here? Uh, actually, yes, I am. Okay. Uh, where'd you go to school? Um, a couple of different places. I bounce around schools, so I won't go into detail about that one. Um, I started off actually on the west side of okay. Duval. So. Excellent. Um, what are you doing when you're not protecting Justina? Um, I'm. I live a very active lifestyle, so I'm usually at the gym. Um, I try to be involved in my church, so I only get two Sundays off a month, so I spend the Sundays I do have off there. And between that, I um, spend a lot of time with my stepson, so I really do enjoy weightlifting. Okay, so don't run from you. <sighs> PSA, don't run from <laughs> Officer Osborne. I think that what gets me through a foot chase is probably the adrenaline and the fact that I don't like to lose. But it's a, yeah. So I guess I West Jacksonville, you didn't grow up in zone two. No, I did not grow up in Zone 2. And how long have you been with JSL? Uh, two years now. Two years. The variety. There's there's a variety of people. There's a variety of calls. So, I um, mean, you different zones. You just have some just violence, um, some just kind of casual calls here. You get a mix of it all. I mean, you, you, you get a huge mix of it all. I mean. I'm not super familiar with the other zones, but I'm familiar with two because I used to live in two and I work in two. From east to west, you touch on about Every demographic. Everything. I mean, everything. What's your favorite area of two? Uh, oh, sorry, your favorite area of two for personal and your favorite area of two for work? Um, personal. I don't really hang out on day of all, if you can't tell. <laughs> on my days off, unless I'm working overtime, I don't touch base in Duval. Um, unless I'm forced over the county line. Um, but... Are you Nassau or Baker? <laughs> don't put Baker on me, Nassau. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Baker, but <laughs> that's all. <laughs> God bless Baker. <laughs> um, there definitely was. There were some people um, when it kind of came out that I got accepted into JSO. Some people were like, really? <laughs> uh, some people were surprised about my career path choice and uh, the fact that I made it to where I'm at today. Yeah, so, um, paint in your garage that's John Deere Green? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> I may have a couple of those hoodies and whatnot. <laughs> a couple of old teachers. Really? JSO, that's the path you went down. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure some people back from the old neighborhood would be very shocked. <laughs> but uh, I made it out. <laughs> Showing up for people um, in all their circumstances and every circumstance. Um, I won't get into much detail about my past, but the reason policing was probably in the back of my mind the entire time is when DCF or police showed up to my house. I was hoping they were going to be the one who showed up for me. Um, didn't brush off my circumstances or what I was going through as a child. And um, so it's showing up for people. Um, 
whether I can change your circumstances, whether I can show you some comfort in your circumstances, whether I can take them completely. Why for the lady I responded to you was like, hey, this is no longer your problem. This is my problem. You go to bed. So showing up for people. Small token of our appreciation thank for taking care of the community. Thank you so much. Thank unnecessary, you. but thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks for taking care of us.